What is the use of the bread, Dr. Madam? And the children will say, we are the stuffing inside, we make the sandwich full. So the husband if says that I am the breadwinner of the family, the wife says, then who cooks that bread and gives you? I am the one. So I am the center of the family. And the children, they both, they both look at the parents and they say, who is the future of your family? We, we are the future of your family. So, we are the center of the family. So, if so many centers, then what happens? That is, clashes. So, we have to understand that in uh, relationship, uh, specifically when devotees are coming together in relationship, that relationship has to have that other spiral diagram coming. Which means the focus should be more on the other person's connection with Krishna that how the person is connected to Krishna before connected to me. Of course, now in a, in a material terms, the person might be connected. Whether it is Grahasachra, whether it is Brahmacharya, one has to understand that we are all spiritually connected to Krishna and that should be the focus. And therefore, at the end, when we talk about human relationship, so this word relation, uh, we have made it into an acronym. R, what R stands for, what E, L, A, T, I, O, N stands for. Let's see. So R in the relationship stands for respect, T e stands for encouragement, L stands for love, A for accommodating, T e for tolerance, I integrity, O for obedience. And for being non judgmental So in any relationship, if we see that these points we are covering in that relationship, then yes, that relationship will be very healthy, will be personal, which will be something, which will be fruitful, which will be nourishing, which will be helping our consciousness, the body, mind and words, and will take us in a very harmonious manner back home, back to Godhead because in the spiritual world relationship is something which is always at the forefront. We have to have a relationship with Krishna. We have to have a relationship with the Holy Name. We have to have a relationship with the deities. We have to have definitely relationship with devotees. And Guru Sadhu and Shastra that means developing a healthy relationship which is based on uh, these qualities and then we can expect that our spiritual life will be on the smooth run. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you all very much. Any questions that you have? so clear but now you know this particular question of yours and uh, understanding the philosophy of Krishna consciousness this story makes a lot of sense some of you might know so this is a story of the friendship between a monkey and a crocodile how many of you know this so I'll just you know the essence of the story that the crocodile the crocodile's wife misses crocodile <laughs> She instigates the husband to get the monkey so that she can cook the heart of the monkey. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. So now the monkey who is being taken by the crocodile and on the way the crocodile reveals you know, the, the plan that he's going to take him to his wife and the wife is going to kill him and cook his heart. 
because the heart is always, you know, is eating succulent fruits and all. So the monkey who is very intelligent says, so you should have told me. <laughs> what do you mean? Because I always leave my heart on the tree when I leave the tree. So the foolish crocodile, he takes the monkey back, expecting that the monkey will get back his heart from the tree. The monkey jumps back on the tree. Hare Krishna. <laughs> so now, uh, what is the purport to this story? That yes, we have to deal with these crocodiles. You know, people of this world or things of this world or the cyber world or whatever you are talking about. It is like that crocodile trying to cook our heart. So leave the heart at the feet of Krishna. Leave the heart at the feet of the devotees, Guru, Sadhana and Shastra. Don't give your heart to them. As Prabhupada said that this material world is like a toilet. Do your job, come out. <laughs> Very practical example. Don't waste your time. So yes, you may have to yes go because of the given circumstance, but uh, don't give your heart. Wherever your heart is, there is where you are. Your body might be anywhere else, in front of a machine or with other kinds of properties. The heart should be. And then you can translate subjectively in your mind how you can do that. But the principle is. You had something. I just didn't understand what does it mean that you don't give your heart? As in, when you get set completely. Uh, well, uh, just whatever is needed for your survival. <coughs> if you have to work in a place, when you are working in a place to earn something to keep your body and soul together. So just do the needful which is required to keep the body and soul together. That's what it means. Yes, you may give uh, completely and honestly work over there. But you should understand that uh, that particular work, whatever you are doing, the result has to be employed in your Krishna conscious activities. So the essence of the work, whatever you get, the output of that work, has to be connected to Krishna. That work might not be directly connected to Krishna. If you are working in an IT company or wherever else you are working, say in a call center, or, you know, sometimes people have to work in hellish conditions also. But at least the output of the work, you can connect it to Krishna. And that's your choice. So that what means the heart and the essence of that work should be connected. Why is it so if, 